Welcome back to Steiner's Wine Making 101 video series. Today we're going to do part four, which will include racking up our wine from one carboy into another, leaving the lease behind. We're going to be adding some potassium metabisulfite, and we'll also be degassing our wine, getting it ready for clarification. So let's get started. So we'll grab our hydrometer, we'll grab our sterile. Get that in there and get it nice and sterile. Remember I said we were going to leave our carboy in a place where we don't really disturb it? I'm just going to slide this out now. Take the button air lock out. And we're actually going to use a different method for checking the specific gravity. And that's going to be with a tool here. And it's called a wine thief. And this essentially has a valve at the bottom. When you push down, it opens and releases liquid. And when you push it in, it'll allow the wine to come into the wine thief. And I'll show you how that works in a second here. We just gotta wash it. Get it nice and sterile. Again with my handy measuring cup. Good to reuse that sterile one again. Quick rinse. Okay. Oh, I can rinse the outside. There we are. And now we'll just pop this in and watch her float down. And voila. You've got a sample of one. So if you take a look at the, the hydrometer here we're floating at about 0.992. So our wine has completely fermented out and now we're ready to go on to the next stages of your, your wine making process. And that's basically the clarification of the wine. Okay, so let's get rid of this. So I just simply push down and release all the wine. Let's get this out of the way. Again, clean our equipment right away and then it's out of the way. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly jot down on the instructions, the date, specific gravity was 0.992, and we are at, again, 19 degrees Celsius, or thereabouts. We're ready to wrap. Homework, our paperwork, let's grab another curb white. Still got my sparkle braid in this one, so... I'm just going to quickly get rid of that and we'll cover that on the video. We did that last time. Okay, we're ready to sterilize. And again, this is just like the last time we have our sterilant, our racking tube that holds. Quick, easy siphon. And we're ready to roll. Okay, we're almost ready to go. We'll just give this a quick rinse. the back of the carboy at the very bottom and try not to disturb the sediment at the bottom. We 
again, when you're racking, you want to have the hose against the carboy so we don't aerate the line nearly as much. So if you remember in the last video where we told you how to tip the carboy with the book, in this stage we're actually not going to do that. We want to make sure that we leave as much lease behind as possible, as well as we're going to leave a little bit of the wine behind as well, because we're going to be adding our additive pack at a future stage in the winemaking process. And we'll leave a little bit more room in the carboy. Okay, almost done. We're getting very close and very soon we shall see the lease at the bottom of the carboy. Okay, there we have it. So we've left quite a bit behind. That ensures that the lease is staying behind in the, in the carboy and we haven't transferred it over to the new carboy. Empty this out and put that in here. Get this out of the way. Let's take a look at our instruction sheet and we're going to be adding uh, package number three, potassium metabisulfite. And basically what that's doing for you, it acts as an antioxidant which helps preserve the color and the flavors in the wine. Okay, so let's see how we add this. Uh, the instructions say simply sprinkle the contents into the wine and mix thoroughly. So, we've got our bung and airlock off. And this is the powder. Spoon. Get this thing sterilized. And we're going to be using the opposite end going into the wine because the, the large part of the spoon won't fit through the neck of the carboy. Quick rinse. During the show. As we're stirring this, this is actually part of the next step that we'll be doing today, and that's degassing the wine. And you can simply stir like this, or I'll show you another method that I prefer. I have to stress that degassing the wine is a very, very important step in the winemaking process. Um, degassing the wine is basically stirring the wine and it's releasing all the excess and unwanted carbon dioxide that, that's present in the wine. If you look at the instruction sheet, uh, what they recommend is one minute of stirring, okay, but you have to repeat that six to eight times over the next uh, 48 hours. The problem with that is every time you want to degas your wine, you have to sterilize the spoon. You have to sterilize the bung, and you know it's a it's a fairly big procedure for one minute of work. So I'm going to show you a, another method which uh, really speeds up the process and makes it a lot more convenient. Okay, so let me show you this other tool that I prefer to use for degassing. It's called a Physex agitator, and it's essentially a stainless steel rod with two little flaps on the end, and you attach it to a ordinary drill. And you insert this into the carboy and just stir it at a very slow speed. So let's sterilize our tool before we put it into the wine. Okay, and this is stainless steel. You definitely don't want to leave that in your sterilant very long because it will discolor. Okay, 
Okay, you don't want to be touching the bottom, and you definitely don't want to touch the sides. And you'll see in a few seconds how it causes the wine to stir up. There you go. So that's good. So what this company recommends, uh, the PhysX company, is they recommend to do this for one minute, leave it sit for another minute, and then to do it again for another minute. And I always do it the next day as well to ensure that we've completely degassed our wine. All right, so we're done. That's our second go of uh, degassing it. I really do recommend this tool because there's nothing worse than a wine that won't clear, and this really does ensure that you're going to get a nice clear wine. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a cleanup. And we're going to be reusing our bung and airlock, although I am going to give them a quick rinse. Sterilize. We're virtually done for the day. We'll just dry these tools. Get them put away. Okay. Our bung and airlock is ready to go on. Again, I put the sterilant up to the etch line on the airlock. I'm going to put this. And there you have it. So that's where she's going to sit till tomorrow. We're going to degas again tomorrow. And again, if you're using the traditional method with the spoon, you're going to do it six to eight times over the next uh, 48 hours. Then really all we have left with the wine is the clarification process and that will happen in a couple of days and then we get on to the fun stuff which is bottling and enjoying our wine. So see us in part 5 of Steiner's Winemaking 101 video series coming up next. <laughs>